we want to create a technological system that is going to simulate the digital world like the physical one. I think it all started with physical simulations. In the early days and even today, people have to visit physical rooms, physical infrastructure. All these things had specific drawbacks. You can imagine a firefighter, he cannot be simulated in a physical room in the real world scenario. So the 3D environment came up. Virtual reality, augmented reality, and immersive tech in general. This is because they can simulate the virtual world in a narrative way. And this is the real thing here. You can create a safe environment for them, and at the same time, you can create a situation where every trainee is going to deal with their emotions. A critical missing piece in these technologies are the simulation of touch sense. A solution that will be able to provide the digitization of touch sense at a very good level will be able to dominate the market. We had to take this technology and utilize it for a specific reason, in order to provide added value to the community. You have many challenges. You need to build a product that is emerging, so you don't have any prior art to be based on. You have to develop the electronics, the design, the software, everything together. It's something that you wear. So you have to be lightweight, but at the same time has to be effective and precise. We wanted to build a balanced solution that will have these required characteristics like high performance, accuracy, and ease of use. And this was part of our vision even in the early days, but still today. We had to create a multidisciplinary team that has all these answers to sub-challenges of this bigger challenge. Trying to track the human hunt is not an easy exercise. However, it's a missing part in the market until now. It comprises several joints, several bones, and we see from big organizations that they have really hard times to track the human hand in an accurate and precise way. The tracking system is crucial in the haptic technology because it directly impacts the precision and the responsiveness of the haptic feedback. If we don't have a reliable tracking system, the motors will provide inconsistent and uh, limited uh, haptic feedback to the user. Imagine that you want to create the, the tactile feedback and uh, when you touch a virtual object, you have to, to feel the vibration that the virtual object provides to your fingers. And you have to create a balance between the sensors that you are utilizing, their position in the 3D exoskeleton, and at the same time the software that are developing in order to simulate narratively this feeling. So you have to understand all these dimensions that a solution like this has to combine in a balanced way. Hapticos has developed a more sophisticated hand tracking system, which is built inside the glove, which not only solves the hand tracking problem, but also allows me to design and develop a more sophisticated and complex haptic stimuli to improve the immersion of the user in the virtual reality. The product we have now is a very good balance of hardware, sensors, algorithms, software. So we believe we have the best balance in the market in terms of performance of the system, which is the best accuracy in the market, ease of use, and also wearability and usability of the solution. This kind of product had many applications in many sectors, from the medical to robotics to immersive tech and other sectors like industry and manufacturing. We try to engage people from all over the world. We have clients and early adopters 
from Europe and the US. I think at the end of the day, this is what we managed to do, being in Greece and creating something for all over the world. From the early days that this was just an idea, we managed to evolve, uh, make a product, be in sales right now, in early sales, and the next steps are even more promising for us. All these rounds of thinking about what's our vision, what we want to accomplish with this endeavor, ended up to creating a technology that can help people to touch digital world. And this is what we do.